Hi, my name is Wes Irish, and today we're filming a segment for the Faro Practical Pilot Series. Today we're going to show you a simulated engine out, uh, landing from cruise altitude. So we're going to be flying long. We're currently here at 3,500 feet, uh, going down the uh, Central Valley in California. And uh, in a while, we're going to, in a bit here, we're going to simulate the engine failing, we're going to bring the engine back to idle, and then we're going to go through a set of procedures to check on the engine, do what we can to get it restarted, and then uh, meanwhile we're going to be heading towards an airport and glide the airplane down. So these airplanes are perfectly good gliders, and that's part of the demonstration here. We're going to bring it all the way down to the airport and do a successful landing with the engine at idle the whole time. So here we are in cruise flight 3,500 feet when all of a sudden our engine fails. First thing we want to do is we want to get to best glide and this plane best glide 73. I actually advocate that we pull up and get to best glide quickly partly because we can get that done and then concentrate on other things. You don't have to get exact, just get it close. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to an airport. We happen to be sort of a beam New Jerusalem airport. We're going to turn towards that right at this time. As we're making those two adjustments now, now we want mixture full rich, just in case it's a mixture problem. We're going to turn our fuel pump on, check our primer. So these are immediate things we can do, and we get our little bit more adjustment on the glide. We want 73. So now we're heading the airport. We've got it ahead in our sights. We're going to try a restart. Just you know, We've done our mixture now. We've checked our primer. Fuel pump's on. We could change tanks, and that could be a problem. If we ran a tank dry, we can switch that over. Now, once we have a little more time, we can call ATC if we want. We can tell them what we're doing. We're going to not do that in this case. We keep the airport in sight. We want to head right towards it to make sure that we can get it. Once we get closer, we can adjust for landing. So here we are, 63. Now we've got a little more time to work on some of the things we can go through a flow. Go up and check. Come through here, the fuel pump's on, master's on, that's good, primer, anything else we can do. There's, there's not a whole lot more to do in this particular case. We can do our car heat, turn that on in case it's a car heat issue. I'm going to make an announcement uh, just for practical purposes here. New Jerusalem traffic, Cherokee 435 to Gulf, 2,400 feet southwest of the field. We're on a simulated engine out landing at New Jerusalem. So we just let traffic know. Traffic lights, port six, Echo Victor, turning left face, runway 18, Franklin. We just let traffic know for safety reasons, uh, in practical sense. So we're watching the airport and we're figuring out how we're going to approach this to get all the glide and everything work out. Getting a little bit fast, go back, adjust my glide. And I'm going to come in and do a modified left traffic to 3 0 here. The other thing, we've got a little more time so we can pull out our checklist. If we can go to emergency procedures. We can go engine failure during flight, pitch 73, check. Landing site selected, primer in and locked, master switch is on. Ignition, we can try the ignition, see if that makes a difference. Fuel pump is on, fuel selector to fullest, mixture full rich, and car we've already tried that. So we've, we, we used the checklist, uh, we had already done the items. But that's, you know, the checklist is a great aid, and it can help you, especially in times of stress. Here we are on the airport getting closer. We're 1,500 feet, and we're going to adjust our pattern so that we can come in and make runway 30. We're also going to do another call for practical reasons. New Jerusalem traffic, Cherokee 4352 Gulf, now 1,400, just about one or two southwest of the field. Be setting up for left traffic runway 30, simulated engine out landing, New Jerusalem. Now we've got more than enough energy here, so we're doing pretty good. We're going to come around now for our pattern. Keeping the airport in sight and staying close enough that we can assure that we can make it. And at this point, when I have what I feel landing assured, we're going to start putting in the appropriate flaps 
because now we want to land at a reasonable airspeed. Since the landing is assured. New Jerusalem traffic, Cherokee 4352 Golf, left base 30, simulating engine out, landing New Jerusalem. Okay, all speeds check. We're going to put in full flaps at this point. We're turning 30. We might even slip here to use up a little extra energy so we have a nice landing. Come in about 65 knots in a Warrior here, that's pretty good speed for landing. Almost like we planned it that way. They were a little high, we can take a little extra energy out. A little slip there, bring it back. Clear drop entry, left downwind 1820. Line up a final, final check, 65 airspeed checks. And down the center line here at New Jerusalem. There you have it. Perfectly good glider. We can go from cruise altitude safely to the ground even in the case of an engine failure. Good day.